Backed by popular demand, as in I did a poll and you all wanted me to discuss this track, I'll be analysing Hammer to Fall. And I'm glad you chose this number, as the song is rarely discussed, especially in terms of the lyrics. Perhaps it's because it was released in 1984 on the Works album, alongside tracks such as I Want to Break Free and Radio Gaga. Hammer to Fool was meant to act as the rock song for this album, along with Tear It Up. To no one's surprise, Brian May wrote this number. He remains synonymous with some of Queen's most rock oriented tracks, with him writing gems such as I Want It All, Fat Bottomed Girls, and obviously We Will Rock You, which even has the word rock in the title. Much like We Will Rock You, it seems as though Hammer to Fall was intended to work well live. This is conveyed particularly through how the music video features footage of the band performing live on the Works tour. And guess what? This is one of their most memorable live songs. Mainly because Queen played the single at their Live Aid performance. Many of us were first introduced to this number through this performance. But it's all good gushing over why it's such an amazing live track. However, what exactly makes it an astounding live song? In terms of the instrumentation, you instantly know this is Hammer to Fall. The opening gives you a rush of adrenaline. The heavy sound of this track is present right from the beginning. There is no build-up. Rather, Hammer to Fall comes in with all guns blazing. No wonder this is a fan favourite when it comes to the band's live shows. As for the chorus, it's easy to sing along to and encourages the audience to join in. Even if the only part they know is, we're just waiting for the hammer to fall. The second verse, after the chorus, adds a greater sense of tension to the song. Sure, it's only subtle, though it contributes to the fast pace and energetic sound of Hammer to Fall. When discussing the bridge, it's probably the best section of the track. You can tell Freddie Mercury is giving it his all, until it all gradually fades into the song's astonishing guitar solo. It's great to hear this, namely because the works had Queen making use of synths a lot more, and therefore having synth solos instead of guitar solos. A good example of this is with I Want To Break Free. Although with Hammer To Fall, Brian May managed to get a mind-blowing guitar solo in. And as for the ending of this number, it's superb. It's exactly what you would want from the end of a spectacular live song. As it's larger than life, and you famously have Freddie saying, Get a little The lyrics for Hammer to Fall have been a point of discussion for decades, mainly because the lyrics are clever and fascinating. At first, it may seem as though the number is about the end of the world, perhaps a nuclear war, the Cold War. That is mainly because of this line. In the shadow of the mushroom cloud. However, it has more or less been confirmed that Hammer to Fall is about life and death in general, with Brian May stating, The hammer coming down is only a symbol of the Grim Reaper doing his job. And with looking at the lyrics, this makes sense, particularly with lines 1 and 2 of the bridge. No matter who you are or where you come from, death comes for us all. And one day, the hammer will fall. 
Jeez, that's kind of morbid. So, let's briefly discuss something a little more upbeat. The music video. It captures the spectacle of what it's like to see Queen live. Perhaps for those of us who at the time, or even now, were unable to see the original band live. Ah, at least we can see what we missed out on. In conclusion, Hammer to Fall is one of Queen's best live tracks, mostly because of the number's energetic sound, awesome bridge and guitar solo, and finally, the unforgettable chorus, which just makes you want to join in. Definitely one of the band's best 80s songs, Personally, I've always loved the lyrics. I would have never expected a number that is intended for live shows to have so much depth lyrically. Though, I guess that's Hammer to Fool for you.